Welcome to this video. Today I want to talk about some free password managers that you can use that will also sync across all devices. So whether you use a Windows computer, a Mac, an iOS device like an iPhone or iPad or even an Android mobile device, this will work for all of those and it's completely free. And please be aware that any important links that I go over will be down below down in the video description. So please make sure you follow along down below. Now I'm going to go over two different options that I recommend. Uh, the first option is Avast does offer a free password manager. Again, it is available for Windows, Mac, as well as for Android. You can see right there it has four and a half out of five stars, as well as it's available for iPhone and iPad, again, averaging 4.7 out of five stars. So it does have good reviews. It's a good program. And again, it's completely free. The only downside to this option is it does install with the free antivirus as well because it actually works through the antivirus suite and so you do have to install the antivirus suite onto the computer in order to use it that's not a problem with the mobile devices but with the computer you do have to install it with the antivirus program and so if you're not willing to do that then this is not the solution for you but if you are then I would go with this option because it's the most user-friendly quickest, easiest, simplest option, and again, it's completely free, syncs across all devices. Now, a couple things, you will need to set up a free account in order for it to sync, so you can do that right up here on the top right-hand side. And then the actual program, if I open it up here, this is the actual uh, program right here. Uh, when it opens, just click on Privacy on the left-hand side and select Passwords, and it will take you to this menu. You can see right here underneath Logins is where you can store any uh, passwords that you want to store as well as you do have the options for credit cards, secure notes, but make sure before you get started that you click on settings and then come over here to sync and backup and make sure you click on turn on otherwise it won't sync automatically. When you click on turn on it will have you set up a master password and then sign into the account that you just created on a vast website and then once you've done that, you're pretty much done. You just have to make sure that you install it on all your devices and do that, but that's pretty much all there is to it. So it's very quick, easy, simple, and very user-friendly as far as this option goes. Now, option number two would be KeyPass, which is a free open source uh, solution. Again, it's available for Windows, Mac, Android, and uh, Apple iOS devices like iPhones and iPads. If you want to install it on a Windows computer, you're going to use this option right here, top left corner. If you're using a Mac, you're going to use the top right hand corner option, the portable version. If you are installing it on Android, what you want to look for is in the Google Play Store, search for KeyPass to Android. And if you're using an iOS device like iPhone or iPad, in the App Store, you will look for KeyPass Touch. Now, this program does require more setup than a VAS manager does, and so there's a lot more steps to this one than the first option I went over. In order for it to sync across all devices, you have to set it up with a cloud solution, such as OneDrive or Google Drive, but the one that I recommend is Dropbox, and the reason for that is this one is the only solution available if you're using an iPhone or iPad. You cannot use Google Drive or OneDrive with an iOS device. So even if you're not currently using an iOS device, I would still just use Dropbox because you never know what may happen in the future. You may change your mind and use an iOS device uh, option in the future. So just to avoid that headache, that problem, just go with Dropbox. I will post a link to this page as well down below where you can just set up a free account and then make sure after you set up the free account that you also install Dropbox onto your computer and all of your devices as well as install KeyPass on your computer or all other devices as well. Now once you have KeyPass and Dropbox both installed, the setup process is as follows. You'll want to go ahead and just open up KeyPass, which is this window right here and then you'll come up to the top left corner and click on file and go to new and then just go ahead and click on OK. Now this is the very important part. You want to look for where it has Dropbox listed because that is what's going to make this sync across your devices. So 
Again, make sure you have Dropbox selected. You can call it whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to leave it uh, the default name, new database, and then click on save. And then here you do need to set up a master password. Uh, now, just be aware, a good password consists of at least 16 characters, as well as upper and lower, lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. So just think of a phrase, add some numbers and symbols to it, make sure a couple of the letters are capitalized, and you're good to go. Now, after you've created a master password, go ahead and just click on OK. And then for this option, you can print it out if you'd like to. I'm just going to go ahead and skip it. So at this point, you're set up. If at any point you want to add a password, you just click right here where it says Add Entry. And then you just fill out this information and then hit OK. And then it will, via Dropbox, it will sync it to all of your other devices. So you do have to make sure, again, that you set up both KeePass and Dropbox on all of your devices so that this, this will work. That's everything for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video.